Algebra word problems number 14b. Write solve equations with parentheses. I'm going to do fraction of a quantity. Parentheses and brackets are commonly used in algebraic equations, and they tell us which part of the equation to do first. The parentheses also tell us to multiply the number next to them by the term. You know, the numbers, coefficients, variables that are inside of them. We remove the parentheses by distributing the multiplication and opening the equation up. So we would have 3 on the outside of the parentheses. That means 3 times x, see, plus, we drop our plus sign, 3 times 8. So we'd end up with 3x plus 24 because 3 times 8 is 24. So we combine all the variables. We do all the addition and subtraction, do all the multiplication and division, and we remember that if there's a negative sign in the front of the parentheses, we have to send that negative sign with those variables. And in this case, we'd have negative x plus negative y. And you have to remember that when you just see a negative like this, there's actually a little invisible 1 that's tucked inside of here. Just like the variable has an invisible 1 in front of it, when you see a negative sign and the parentheses, that means there's actually a 1 there, okay? So let's remember to be on the lookout for variables that can be combined and remember to think of our equation as a scale and that one side of the equal sign has to balance with the other side of the equal sign, okay? All right, so here's what we've got. Two-thirds the quantity of a number minus three is equal to one-third that number. What is that number? So we're going to have n equal the number. So we think two-thirds the quantity of n minus three. Well, if we knew what n minus three was, we could find two-thirds of it, right? But we don't know what n minus three is. That tells me that n minus three is in parentheses and is by itself. So two-thirds is found by multiplying. So to find two-thirds of this n minus 3, that tells me we need to multiply two-thirds to the n minus 3. So now we've got it on the outside of the parentheses like that. And then it says equal to one-third that number. So we know the equal sign. And then one-third of that number, number is n. So it's one-three, one-third of n. See? So now we have our equation. We've got two-thirds and then n minus 3 in parentheses equals one-third n. Let's solve this guy. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is distribute the multiplication. 2 thirds times n, here we go, minus, here's our minus, 2 thirds times 3. See? So now we need to do 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 1 is 3. That gives us 6 over 3, which gives us 2. So now our equation, after we've multiplied what's in the parentheses and s simplified it and combined like terms, is what our next step is, we end up with 2 thirds n minus 2 equals uh, 1 third n. So now we need to get this 2 thirds n to this side of the equation so that all the variables are on one side and then the negative 2 is on one side, okay? we got to change the sign to do it. So now we have 1 third plus negative 2 thirds. Well, that's going to give us a negative 1 third. If we have 1 third and we take 2 one-thirds away, we're going to be negative one-third. So now, in order to solve this and get this negative one-third away from the n, we need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative one-third, which is negative three over one. Do you remember your reciprocals? We flip the fraction upside down and it's the reciprocal. And when we have a fraction for a coefficient, that means a fraction in front of a variable like this, the one-third n. The way to solve it is by multiplying each side by the reciprocal. And if you don't know what the coefficient is, remember it's the number in front of the variable. So that is a fraction coefficient. It's not a whole number coefficient, OK? So we're going to multiply both sides by the negative 3 over 1. And on this side, negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. So we have 6 over 1, or 6. And on this side, they cancel each other out as 3 over 3. So now we have n. So now we have 6 equals n. And we can check it by doing 2 thirds. And where the n was, we put the 6, because that's what we say n is equal to. 6 minus 3 is 3. So now we got 2 thirds times 3, which equals 6 over 3, is equal to 2. Yep, we got it right. See? 
So there's some parentheses clue words that I wanted to show you. If in the word problem you see sum of, difference of, product of, quotient of, total of, quantity x plus a number or quantity x minus a number, or if you see x is an amount more than some other amount, like x is $5 more than the red balloons, that's telling you that we're going to have to put that in parentheses. And if you see it saying consecutive numbers or consecutive integers, you're probably going to have it in parentheses also. Sometimes they have word problems where they say what page of the book it is. It, you know, it'll say, you know, page 143 of the book, and it'll have consecutive odd integers and consecutive even integers. And those have to be in parentheses also, okay? Ah, I hope this wasn't too confusing. I'm going to do one more to show you another example of using parentheses in a word problem, trying to write these equations, okay? If you think you've got it, go ahead and move on to number 15. And if you'd like to watch and get a little extra practice, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.